welcome back to the channel. Y'all, we have arrived. I'm actually doing my intro last because it has been crazy um, getting through the airport. But I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about traveling with a toddler and a baby um, on the plane in a pandemic. So, um, so here we go. <laughs> Good job. Mommy's turn. All right, y'all, let's start right here. We flew Southwest. This is us on the way to security. So I had to have a birth certificate or immunization records for both the girls. Miss you guys. Love you. So as you can see, there wasn't a huge line for security and everybody, everybody had to social distance and wear masks. Honestly, y'all, I had to go through security like everybody else. I had to take Peyton out the stroller. I didn't have to take Lauren off my chest, but I had to take my shoes off. And I had to um, put all the bags on the conveyor belts. Walking through the airport was like ghost town, but when we got to the gate, it was a little more people than I thought it would be. Lauren's first flight. Can you see Lauren? Hi, Mama. Y'all, I wiped down everything, even this seat that Lauren is sitting on. <laughs> it's your first flight, my mom. You in the airport? Of course, kids under two years old don't have to wear a mask, but I wasn't taking any chances. Okay, y'all, so I did have to check the stroller at the gate, but when I got off the plane, the stroller was right there waiting for me. And this is me wiping everything off for a second time. I was just going over everything again just to make sure everything was clean and I knew the girls would be touching everything. Okay, y'all, I have to say, Peyton did a wonderful job keeping her mask on. The only time she took it off was when she had to eat. But although the plane does pump air, fresh air every three minutes and has a filter, I had to use my mister. And this mister has alcohol, mostly alcohol and a little water. And I used it every time Peyton had her mask off. All right, now let me show you what I have in my little, I called it my health bag. <laughs> but I had my Kleenex in case I had to wipe anything up, which I did. Because Peyton spilled a little juice on her tray, but that was fine. And then I have these wipes, which is like emergency cleansing wipes. You can wipe your face, any part of your body, anything else if you go to the bathroom. Here's the mister that I was telling you about and I'm not sure where my aunt got it from, but I can ask and I'll put it down below in the description. Then you guys, I have hand sanitizer and a spray bottle. And then I have another hand sanitizer. <laughs> you never can have too much hand sanitizer. And then I have my disinfectant wipes, which is Clorox. And if y'all can see, it says it um, kills 99.9% .9 and especially on human coronavirus. And then I have my Purell wipes, which I used frequently on Peyton and Lauren's hands. Um, it's supposed to be sensitive for their hands, but tough on any kind of virus. And then I have some extra masks. Um, just in case. And that's what I had in my bag. As you can see, Peyton is eating and her mask is off. So my mister is going on. Okay, y'all. So although I had a bag of goodies for Peyton, to limit contact with the stewardess, they only served water 
and these like little cookies and snack mix. How cute is this, y'all? Everybody kept coming by saying how good Lauren was, which she was perfect. Peyton slept for the last two and a half hours of the flight, and of course they would be sleeping at the same time when we're landing. But all in all, y'all, it was really a smooth flight. Okay, y'all, so we landed safely, praise God. And when we got to the baggage claim, my dad was there to help me with the bags, so that was great.